In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I would recommend running the Trips tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden. And the way that we do that is we basically share with you offensive and defensive tips and tricks videos that are just designed to do just that, just to help you get better at this game. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips coming right here on the channel. We also stream every single uh, week night, so Monday to Thursday uh, night, and we're gonna be starting that back up tonight. We're gonna be streaming from uh, eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time to 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And so if you ever wanna come by and hang out and talk Madden, uh, out, get your questions answered live, or just play Madden. Uh, I play subscribers pretty much all the time. That's kind of what I do. And so if you wanna come by and hang out and play, um, you, can, you can feel free to do that. I, again, I stream every single weeknight, so Monday through Thursday night, and it's going to be 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so I'd like to invite you to that tonight. Now, in this video, we are coming, uh, we are talking about the Trips Tight End Offense, and the Trips Tight End Offense is the offense that actually won the Madden Club Championship. Jay Wall, who I have a ton of respect for, and I think is one of the most innovative offensive minds in the Madden community. He used the Trips tight end to win, I think it was literally like $150,000. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. It might have been more than that. Um, but that's what he used. And so um, I actually wrote a guide on the Trips tight end um, that you can get in the description. It's just $10, and it literally walks you through everything um, when it comes to the Trips tight end offense. It shows you how to beat every coverage that you're going to face. But I want to take a little bit of a different approach to teaching the trips tight end in this video. And that is that I think that what we've kind of gotten to in the Madden community, at least it's just my opinion, is we've gotten to, and I've done this too, I'm guilty of this, we've gotten to this place where money plays are more valuable than scheming. Money plays are more valuable than scheming. And so when that is the case, what happens is you end up running a lot of really good plays, but you don't really... Um, have a system for it. You don't really have intentionality for it. You don't really know why you're calling the plays that you're calling. You're just calling plays. In fact, this is something that I have struggled with myself. And whenever I am struggling uh, in Madden, I have to come back to this point. And that is this, that offense is simply a couple of things. The first thing that you want to be able to do is you want to have a power play. We're going to talk about that in this video for the trips tied in. The second thing that you want to do is you want to have a counter play. So a power play would be like a Lombardi sweep, something that really, really forces your opponent to have to do something specific to stop you. The second thing is a counter play. It's something that really kind of looks exactly the same as your power play, but it takes the defense in a completely different direction. And we're gonna share that with you throughout the course of this week. The third thing is you wanna have constraint theory plays. Constraint theory plays are plays that basically take advantage of your opponent whenever you know that they're over committing. So for the trips tight end, this could be something as simple as a slip screen. It could be, um, it could be something as simple as, um, I think it's called uh, the tight end screen or maybe it's you know the PA shot wheel. There's all kinds of examples of this. But the primary thing we want to start with is a power play. Then we want to go to a counter play. Then we want to talk about constraint three plays. The fourth thing that we want to talk about whenever we talk about an offensive scheme is a three-headed rushing attack, an ability to basically um, force the defense to have to at least respect the fact that you can run the ball if you want to. And so we need to have that ability in our offense. And then the last component of an effective offensive scheme, in my opinion, is to have a very good red zone uh, play Whatever your red zone X factor play, it might be a short yardage play, it might be a red zone money play, um, That that's kind of the fifth component. It's, it's that extra thing. It's that next level thing that you could do that really nobody else can do. And that's the beauty of the trip sign in is that it has all five of those components and that's what makes it such an elite offense. So if you want to get my complete guide, it's in the description. But in this video, we're talking about what I would consider to be the power play of the trips tight end, and that is the play curl flat. Now, Fancy from the TNC crew is someone that I um, think really does a great job at running this play. And so 
the first kind of starting point for this is that you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field. As a general rule, whenever you're running trips tight end, you want to run your trips tight end to the wide side of the field. And so the way that you do that is, you know, if you're on the right hash, then you just run it as it is. If I was on the left hash, then I would need to flip everything that I did. But basically, the setup is really simple. Um, you're going to smart route the circle receiver, and you're going to streak the X receiver. That's it. That's literally all you're going to do. And your first read is always your tight end streak. If that's not open, then typically what's going to be open is this route to circle. As you can see right there, it's a very quick, easy read for you to be able to hit. I'm running against Mike Blitz 3, so a very popular defense and a very good Mabel coverage in and of its own right. And what you're going to see is that I'm going to consistently be able to have a lot of success with this play. Now, depending on where their user is, normally what's going to happen is they're going to use her one of two routes. So they're going to use her, and you can almost... I mean, based on where they're standing, right, you can almost see it. So, like in this example right here, I'm standing right here, so it's very likely that I'm going to use her to tie it in, or I'm going to use her to the right. If that's the case, don't be afraid to just pop this little circle quick route quick. Don't be afraid to take that read. That's a quick little read against Mabel coverage. It's very, very effective. The beauty of the, the, beauty of the trip side in as well, and the beauty of any good offense is that they don't really focus necessarily on beating man and zone, and it's because every single play that they call beats man and zone. As you can see right there, the man coverage came, and I was able to check down to my running back route. Another route that you have access to that is very, very effective um, in this play is this route to, start, or to square. You can click on, you can aggressive catch that. That curl flat concept is probably the most underrated concept in this year's game. It is very, very effective, and I would encourage everybody, and I mean everybody, whether you're a pro player, whether you're a beginner player, um, whether you're an average player, you need to be putting curl flat concepts on your field. Basically, one of the two routes will almost always be open, depending on what the defense actually does to defend it. And so, as you can see, on the left side of the field, things break down, and we take that, that curl flat concept. Every effective play, every effective play will have an ability to beat man coverage, an ability to beat zone coverage, an ability to beat the blitz, and an ability to have a consistent check down, a route that you can look to when the play breaks down. And so what you're looking at right here is you're looking at a very, very successful play because it checks the box on all of them. This R1 route is probably um, next to the delay fade or the delay drag for bunch tight end. That R1 route is probably the best check down in the entire game. And this is what makes trips tight end so effective. It won $150,000 for J-Wall, partially because J-Wall is an elite Madden player, but also because the offense itself, the system that I teach in my offensive guide is super, super effective. It's simple to use, um, it's, it's easy to understand, and it's clear. And that's the beauty of the trip side end. So if you want to get my complete offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. You can get the complete trips tight end guide for just 10 bucks. And I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And again, if this is your first time visiting the channel and you're still watching, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for your time. And if you want to get that offensive guide, it is in the description.